Hi, my name is Eddie Fontaine with the Adair County Health Department. I'd like to take a time to report that we have a 13th confirmed case of the coronavirus, COVID-19, in the county since the beginning of the year. The case is a 59-year-old male who is self-isolating. His infection is travel-related. Of the 13 confirmed cases, six have now recovered and have been released from isolation. The other seven cases remain active and are in isolation. Per CDC guidelines, if you're experiencing any symptoms of COVID-19, including fever, cough, shortness of breath, call your medical provider right away. If you're experiencing trouble breathing, persistent pain or pressure on the chest, uncharacteristic confusion, or bluish lips or face, dial 911 immediately. The Missouri Center of Public Health Excellence has launched a statewide coronavirus COVID-19 information campaign, One for All. The campaign features a website, www oneforallmo.com, which provides an easy to read information, including the symptoms of the virus, measures to help prevent the spread of the virus, requirements of the statewide stay at home order, and helpful topics. For the remainder of the time, I'd like to take the time to answer three of the most common questions asked about COVID-19, and I will require the help of Tandra Lujudis to help me answer these questions. Hi guys, I hope you're finding yourself well. We're going to jump into the three most commonly asked questions, starting with, I've heard rumors about the hospital getting an updated machine for testing COVID-19 patients. I actually can confirm this. They have updated one of their machines to accommodate COVID-19 human testing. We can receive a test back in a matter of at least 13 minutes to one hour. So that'll help us get our medical providers and essential workers back out into the workforce and helping the community. Um, the next question is, how have businesses adapted to protect their employees and customers during these troubling times? And for that, I will have Eddie answer. Um, so some of the businesses like Home Depot or Walmart uh, have been uh, giving their employees additional hours. Uh, they get about 80 hours of uh, sick time uh, that they can just take at their discretion. They will also get a, uh, uh, a kit to clean all of the, the customer-facing machines like the registers, the seats, anything that they touch. Uh, every hour they have to uh, sanitize those uh, pieces of equipment. Um, those are the main uh, features to protect the customers and the employees. And I know that our businesses have been doing a very great job to protect not only their workers, but the customers. Um, the third question is work release orders, question mark. So a lot of the questions that I've been getting about this are, are police pulling over individuals to check work orders? The simple answer to that is no. The only time that they will intervene is if they see large groups of people congregating in the general public and asking, why are you here and breaking it up if needed? Well, those are the three main questions that we have been asked. And, and in closing, I would like to say stay safe, stay home, and stay healthy. Have a good one, guys.